Welcome. I'm so glad to have everybody here to join us in our godly play storytelling. This is a time when we get to speak to God and to listen to God, just spend time enjoying God as we gather together in a sacred time. Now we begin our time together by getting out our worship box and creating our sacred circle. And you probably have your worship box at home. So these are the things that you're going to need. So let's set up our sacred circle together. You can set this up at home while I'm doing it. So we're going to put down our altar cloth. And we will take out this little earth that reminds us of God the Creator. And and our cross oh, <laughs> that reminds us of Jesus, our Savior. And the bell that reminds us of the Holy Spirit. And today we're going to add another piece, and this is the light. Other things that you're going to need from your worship box include your post-it notes and your journal and your crayons or your colored pencils or anything else that you would like to do your work with later. So we will put our crayons and our journal back in the box, but we're going to leave out our post-it notes and something to write with. And so we will put our worship box to the side. So today's prayer, some of you who have been in children's worship know how to do this, but others um, you'll learn as we do it together. So I'm going to ask a question and you will write the answer on your post-it note. And if you need help from mom or dad or an older brother and sister, that is perfectly fine. So today's question is, when you don't know what to do, who do you ask for help? And you can write that on your post-it note, write the answer on your post-it note, and then put the post-it note somewhere where you will see it every day. It might be in your bedroom, it might be on the refrigerator, it might be at a special place where your family keeps announcements and things that they want to remember. So write the answer to the question, when you don't know what you're supposed to do, who do you ask for help? And you can press pause on our video while you answer the question, and then you can hit play when you're ready to go on. And I'll be here, ready for you. Now we can put our post-it notes away. And let's sing together. You know, singing is another way that we talk to God and pray to God. And you might know this song. I sang it last week. You might know it from Miss Susie and choir, or you might have sung it in church, or you might have sung it in your school. And this is the song. And so let's sing together if you remember the words. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He answers prayers. He answers prayers. He answers prayers. He's so good to me. Amen. 
Dear Lord, we thank you for each person that was written on our post-it note. These are people that help us when we don't know what we're supposed to do. And Lord, we thank you for Jesus, because Jesus helps us at all times, in all places, when we don't know what to do. We pray in the name of your very precious Son, Jesus. Amen. So today's story comes from the book of John. And are you ready for our story? You ready to take a deep breath and breathe out and feel a nice calm inside? Uh, we're going to read from this Bible. This is the Bible that I have. You might have one that looks like this, or you might have one that looks different. It might look different on the inside, on the outside, but on the inside, the words are the same. So we're going to go to the Gospel of John. That is the third, the fourth book in the New Testament. And we are going to chapter 8, verse 12. And I have it marked with my Bible bookmark. Jesus spoke to the people again. He said, I am the light of the world. Those who follow me will never walk in darkness. They will have the light that leads to life. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. There was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people just had to know who this person was. And so they simply had to ask him. Oh, my altar cloth is falling. There we go. They simply had to ask him. And he said, I am the light. Let's enjoy the light. So people come to the light at all different times, in all different places, and they become one with the light. And so, this is Theo's light. And this is Olive's light. This is Joanne's light. And this is Philomena's light. And this is Ben's light. And that is Allie's light. This is Ben's light. This is Anna Reese's light. Oh, 
This is Alice's Light. This is Harvey's Light. And this is Nora's Light. Look at this light in so many different places, all from this same light. And this light has gone out to so many different places, but this light is not any smaller. It's not any dimmer. I wonder how that happens. There was a time when I came to the light and I found my light in this light. But then the light changed. It went from being in one place to many places. And each of our lights change from being in one place to being in many places. I wonder how the one light that we have goes from being in one place to many places. The light doesn't just stay in this room. When it changes, it goes out. It can be in your room, in your house, any place that you go. But it is still comes from the one light. I wonder how you feel about having this light about being one with this light. So I invite you to take your journal out and you can create anything that you want with the crayons or the colored pencils or anything else that you have at your house. You might even have stickers or ribbon or colored paper, anything that you might want to create something that shows how you feel about the light in you. So you can press pause now and you can do your work and then when you're done, hit play and come on back and I will be here and we will finish our story time. Have you finished your work? I bet it is wonderful because anytime that we talk to God and listen to God and God works with us in creation is wonderful. So I, I would love to see your creation if you would like to share it. You could have mom and dad take a picture of it and send it to me, either text it to me or you can send it to the church. Your mom and dad will know how to do that. And you could share your creative work with me. I would love to see it. So now we're going to put away our story. We will have this story here at church. If you ever want to come by and pick it up, and tell the story yourself at home. You could do that. Or if you have a really good memory and you remember the story, 
from John chapter 8, verse 12. You could tell it yourself at home. So now we're going to put away our sacred circle. We'll make sure that our post-it notes are put back in our box because we'll use those again. So we're going to put away the light and the Holy Spirit, the bell that reminds us of the Holy Spirit and the cross that reminds us of Jesus, the Savior, and the globe that reminds us of God, the Creator. And we will fold up our altar cloth and put it back in the box. I am so glad you came together and we were able to hear the story from John together about the light and how we can become one with the light. I hope you have a very blessed week and I know you will have a blessed week because God loves you. And every, any time that God is with you, you are blessed. So I will see you next week. Bye.